Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Pete and Rich. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Pete's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Pete's gonna come home with his very own training equipment and you're gonna be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now, Pete is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking without dragging you down the street and the command is Pete heal. Now at this point Pete has a job to do and that is to walk next to your left leg. If he's ever going to be a qualified service dog he has to be able to walk nicely on a leash without getting out of control, without losing his mind. And each time that you stop your feet he's been taught to sit and wait for his next command. So when you want him to walk, you say, Pete, heal, and you walk with him. And, or he, sh he walks with you, I should say. He should match pace with you. If you turn, as you see Rich doing, he should turn. And then when you stop, he should sit. Very nice. So when you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone, he should be sitting. The next command that Rich is going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and you do not use his name. Your long sit stay, you're going to practice at home. You're going to lengthen out from about 30 seconds all the way up to three minutes. This helps to develop self-control. And for a dog of his age, he doesn't have a lot of self-control. Rich walks all the way around him as an additional distraction, gets back to his shoulders and stops. And at this point, Pete expects to get another command. And Rich tells him to heal again. And they take off walking. So you can practice your commands indoors as well as outdoors. And you want to practice them everywhere you go. Nice sit. Rich leaves him in another sit stay. You walk out to the end of your leash and you turn to face him. And this time, instead of returning back to him, Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. It's Pete come, and Pete should come right in front of you and he should sit. If he doesn't sit, you say no sit. He went all the way back to heel, he just forgot to sit. So now it's nice controlled walking. Nice sit stay. When you call him, he's not wild and out of control. He comes in nicely. Pete, come. Comes right in front and sits. And then he goes back to heel. So I think considering the way Pete came in, he's going out a much calmer, more controlled little guy. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, you use your left open palm down. straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay, you can practice right in the comfort of your living room in the air conditioning. Practice from one minute working all the way up to five minutes. When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him again as an additional distraction. Returning back to where they started, he stops at Pete's shoulders and he expects to get another command. So when Rich tells him to heal, he gets right up and starts walking again.
And this is all a process that you're going to have to work with at home to keep these things going if you ever want him to be able to go places with you and be a service dog. That's your down and stay. I know you're going to be so proud of him on this video because I wasn't sure if we were ever going to get him here, but he's doing really good. This time Rich will call him out of that. Comes right in and sits right in front of Rich, facing his knees, no more jumping all over you. And he goes back to heel. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. So with the dog seated, you leave him in a sit-stay and you turn to face him. And you don't have to go too terribly far away in the beginning. You're going to work up to that. You give him the down and the stay. And that is your down from a distance. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Pete's formal on-leash obedience commands. He has done 100% turnaround. Thank you for giving us the extra time to work with him. We've enjoyed having him, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.